the flat mirror, you see there is a plane here. The object is reflected here. And also the flow is, in a, is applied with a marble there. Okay. So how will you create a material like this? That means you have a flat object, maybe a floor. And how will you show reflection on that floor? And also you provide a map on that floor. This is possible using the flat mirror. That's what we are going to learn. So we'll start from the beginning. Let me erase everything. I have created a multi-sub object. This is my multi-sub object. I will create a box. And I will create one teapot. I create another material which I will apply for the teapot. This floor, I want to apply the multi sub object. So I will select the Flow. What is above it here? And I applied that one. And you can see based on the ID of this box, he applied different, different colors. There. Okay. Different, different colors he applied based on the ID. So for this flat mirror, one condition is that wherever you apply the flat mirror, it should have a unique ID. That means, sir. Multi sub W, this ID I one, two, three is there, and this IDs are applied in different sides. Since the top, which is ID number one, should not be applied, the same material should not be applied anywhere. This ID number one should not be there for any other surface. Okay. Now I want to make this as my reflected surface which I know it item number one, ID number one, this material. I will click that one. And instead of using the diffuse, I will go down, open my maps. I will select the reflection. Reflection. So reflection, I don't want to use bitmap. I will go down, use flat mirror. Use flat mirror. So I applied the flat mirror here. Let's see what happens now. It has come something, reflection here. It has come, but not clear, right? Because this particular diffuse color is white. I will change this white color to dark color. I will give value zero. So it becomes blank. And you will see clear picture on that. Clear? If it is not coming means that ID should be somewhere else. If you correctly proceed, that is, you will create a multi sub object. You apply that material to that particular plane where you want to reflection. And see that the top ID is not used anywhere else. Then use the map type reflection. And when you click the reflection, don't use the bitmap, use the flat mirror, which is available at the bottom. You get it. Now I want this top floor, some marble. Okay, now it is just black. I want to put marble here. So I will use the diffuse map because this diffuse map black, you'll see here black. I will click this map. 
fitnah. What I want there? Maybe this marble I want? Picture? And you can see, marble has come there. Printer? Marble has come there. Clear? Suppose this marble you don't want. You go down. This is the marble picture here. You see here. Bitmap. Click. You want to show a wood pattern there. Okay. Wood pattern here. Under. Wood pattern there. This is how you do the flat mirror. The face receiving the flat mirror should have a unique ID match with the, okay? The face receiving the flat mirror should have a unique ID. If required, this is only, if you require only, if required apply edit mesh, you sub-object <coughs> polygon and give an ID. This is if you want, if you need only. This is required only when you have using the gen gone, etc. If you are using a plane or a box type object, you may not require it. Box is having separate separate IDs. It will be having ID number one, two, like then up to six IDs. For a plane, there will be two IDs, top one ID and bottom ID. But when you create a gen god, like that polygon box, you get only applied only one ID to all the faces. So in that case, you have to edit mesh and give a separate ID. So that is required only for if you are going to have the flat mirror on a Gen God, that is with the more faces. But in your usual application of a surface, you will be either you will use the box or the plane. So in that case, you don't require the edit mesh. So the face re receiving the flat mirror should have a unique ID. What is RG, how will you use the RGB tint map? You see, I have selected one sample slot, I will apply to my teapot. I want to apply this teapot a marble. So I will go to diffuse, bitmap, marble, show teapot. Okay. So this is a little greenish marble. I want to change this color want to change this color. So what I will do is I will go to pattern sample slot. I apply this sample slot to here. Okay. Now, instead of the standard material, you, 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 this diffuse, click this map button. Are you listening? Please listen here. I click the diffuse button. I will not take the bitmap, I will not take. I will take RGB tint, RGB tint, okay? So I have not applied any map. Now I can use RGB tint, there is a proposal here map. Click this one. Now you select the bitmap. This one you do. Because a diffuse map only once only you can use. Okay, so instead of diff, diff, when you click the diffuse map, I have not selected bitmap. If you select bitmap, I cannot select the RGB tint or any other, only one only can use. So instead of bitmap, I use the RGB tint. But in the RGB tint, there is a provision to select the map. Okay. I got it now. I got this color. I want to change this color now. So go one step above. So I selected a tutorial map here. 
I have three colors here. This three color indicate control this color of this. Suppose I click the red, reduce the red. Maybe red channel is not having much effect. If you, you can you don't see much changes here. Even if I reduce the, there is no much change. So the red channel don't have much control. Suppose I go to green. Green is having some control. You see, it became it changed the color. Change the color. Okay, let us change that. Blue. Maybe blue is having more control. See here. In this trial and error, you have to try which color you want and other thing. Sometimes you select uh, this. You see here, it became blue, green. It became this reddish color. So trial and error method, you have to try these three colors and you can change the map to different colors. Got it? Are you getting? So what are the steps involved? Click diffuse button, diffuse map button. Then instead of bitmap, you select the RGB tint. Three color watches you see there and one map button. Click the map button, select the record image. Now you change these three colors right, to change the color of the image. Okay, try. Checker. Next one is checker. I will select this one. Apply this. Instead of a map button, I will click. And uh, there is a checker here. If you want to apply two colors to uh, different colors to, you can use this. You can see here two things you can apply black, white, or any other thing. Let's see, I can reduce the here the tiling numbers. I can increase three, three. You can see. Different colors. I can change these colors to my own colors. Go down here. You see here, now it is black and white. I can make this white to red. Black to green. I can make a object like this, see, two different colors. I can change the angle of this. You see here W, angle, W means Z. I will change it to 45 degree. You can see, these numbers can be increased. Even you can put picture in this. You see here? All this green I want to put as a marble there. Click. Bitmap. Marble. Or I will put this pattern there. See? A lot of things you can do using this uh, checker. So how will you do that? You just uh, click the uh, diffuse map button and instead of bitmap, se select the checker and ch change the color values, etc. You can change the color, you can put a map, etc. 